Hey everyone, this is a demo of our software called Mune Symphony. So this is the companion software to the Mune hardware and it's something that makes the Mune pretty special. Basically it allows you to really easily download different apps that let the Mune do different things from programming drum beats to playing violin or synth sounds to using all sorts of uh, digital effects. It's a super easy to use and really well integrated, uh, nice experience. So basically, our team will be uploading uh, mini apps for free uh, up to our app repository, uh, but anyone else can create apps for Immune Symphony as well. So to start things off, um, first we've got to connect the Immune. So you can see up here that we're currently disconnected. So I'll just push my power button here and it should be uh, auto discovered. And there we go. So you can see we're connected now. Uh, via Bluetooth, you can also be connected by USB. So down here we can do a few different things. We can change the backlight brightness in the Mune um, depending on your setting. So if it's a bit darker, you might want it uh, 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 dimmer. If it's if it's bright outside, you might want it really bright. Of course, a, a lower backlight brightness means you get a bit more battery life. Uh, the screensaver here, you can change. So the screensaver is this animation that the lights do. Um, while you're not doing anything with Immune, it's just kind of a, a cool little feature. Right now you can see this slow breath animation happening on the lights. And here you can change um, where MIDI is directed. So if you want to send MIDI to a program like Ableton or uh, Tractor for DJing or anything like that, you can really easily do that here. Uh, down here you can see our battery life uh, left and you can also see the app that we're currently running. One really cool and different thing you can do here is you can edit what our different buttons do. So when you first launch the Mune, um, all these buttons uh, can be programmed to do anything that you really want them to do. So I'm just going to select this one here. You can see I can do things like change MIDI mode or uh, display the battery life via the lights or enable the screensaver. But one of the, probably the most useful one is launching an app. So if I click this, I can actually select an app to launch uh, when I hit that particular button. So next we'll go to the app screen and see what apps are available. So here's a list of apps that I currently have uh, for my Mune. Uh, you can see we've got a Stana Looper, Live Looper, we've got Upbeat, uh, it's kind of an MPC style uh, um, drum machine, and Cintine, which is a uh, synthesizer uh, type app. So I'm just going to open that one up right now. And another really cool feature we have is that you can assign your apps to different uh, positions for the Mune. So the, the Mune has an accelerometer and a gyroscope inside it. Uh, so I can trigger, uh, say, my MPC style app uh, when I lay my Mune on the tabletop. So as soon as I lay that down, that app is immediately going to be ready and uh, ready to go. And I'll switch to that mode. So this is, can be really helpful for live performance type situations or if you have a really uh, comfortable kind of setup that you're using all the time, this is a good way to activate it. So I'll just activate that functionality there. Next is our Get Apps page. So here you can say search. If I'm looking for a violin type sound, I might search through there and see if there's any apps available. You can also see featured apps here and their current ratings. You can also just browse through categories and see what's available. Last but not least is our commune page. So something that's really important to us at Mune is uh, creating a community. And the word Mune actually comes um, somewhat from the word commune. Uh, we believe in making large portions of our software open source. Uh, we believe in allowing the community to uh, determine the direction of the Mune instrument and the Mune software. So one of the things we have here on the right is a voting uh, platform. So you, 
we'll regularly have polls on what types of software we should be developing or what type of uh, hardware modules we should develop next. So here if I want to see a uh, VJing, a video jockeying application develop next, I can select that and vote there. Here on the left you have a bit of a live feed, kind of like Facebook or Reddit or something like that. Anyone can post to this, you can post audio that you've created, you can post uh, videos of your performances or other uh, text type statuses. And uh, the community can upvote or downvote them to determine you know, what gets more exposure and what gets spread more. So I just upvoted our uh, demo video there. So that's it for now. Uh, please keep your eye on our YouTube channel for more demo videos coming soon. Thanks very much for watching.